I've finished. I've done the whole tutorial. I am done. I am an expert at Python, except for the fact that they never once mentioned the most important and distinguishing factor about Python. They never once even mentioned How much programming can you learn with one YouTube video? We've all seen the videos that say, learn such and such language in just one video, like Python, R, Java, you name it. Heck, I even have some of these videos on my channel that attempt to teach everything in just one video. Are they worth your time? Today, I'm gonna answer that question for you because I'm going to review the most popular full-length Python tutorial that's on YouTube. The video is from freecodercamp.org and it has over 15 million views. It's over 9,000! 9,000?! This is gonna be a really long four hours, but I'm doing it for you, so you'll know if it's worth it. You're welcome. In this course, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to get started programming in Python. Okay, right off the bat, you know you can trust this guy because he's clearly worked for NASA at some point. I mean, they don't just give those NASA t-shirts to everyday civilians, right? He must be a rocket scientist. Rocket man. And by that logic, based on my Jurassic Park t-shirt, what does that say about who I work for? <laughs> he definitely looks the part of a computer programmer, with that long slicked back hair and his backwards hat, leaning back in his chair all cool and chill-like. In fact, I did some digging about our mysterious instructor here, and it turns out they have a bachelor's degree and master's degree in computer science from the University of Scranton. So that's pretty cool. I trust he will be an excellent instructor. Some time later. Trust me, I am going to hold your hand through this entire course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This was clearly filmed before the COVID-19 quarantine restrictions. Holding my hand through this. Sheesh. Python. So I want to show you guys just a very basic Python program. And this is just going to be a hello world program. So we're just going to print something out onto the screen. So what I, what I want to do is I want to type out P-R-I-N-T print. Now, don't worry, I'm going to be following my own advice on this video. If you haven't seen my video on the top 10 tips of how you can learn a programming language through YouTube, you need to check it out. But spoiler alert, one of the things I list is that you should code along with the tutorial or instructor in the video. That's exactly what I'll be doing here which probably means I'm gonna have to print hello world for the 10 billionth time. But hey, I'm doing this for you. Hello world, some time later. Hopefully one that's a little bit funnier than mine, uh, but that's the basics of creating a Mad Libs game in Python. Okay, I've been through the first hour of this four hour tutorial and so far he's talked about strings and basic arithmetic. That's it. My impression so far is that this instructor does a good job at really making sure this video is for beginners. But we still have three hours to go so we could definitely cover all of that plus some very interesting things about Python specifically in the next three hours. And remember, according to the thumbnail, there are no ads in this video because nobody needs a break from over four hours worth of lecture. Oh good, it looks like we're about to start talking about lists, so this is gonna be fun. Some time later. Specify a range. So actually, let me add in a couple other elements just so that we can illustrate this better. So I'll add in two more names. So if I wanted to, I could select like the element at index position one up to the element at index position three. Oh, ha, I just realized that all of the names in the list are characters from the office. That's hilarious. Was that on purpose? Some time later. 
Okay, because this video is just a bunch of smaller videos compiled together, there's a little bit of redundancy in the information. For example, he just restated almost word for word something he stated about two minutes ago. Now a Python function is basically just a collection of Python code that performs a specific task. Now a function is basically just a collection of code which performs a specific task. Repetition is good when it comes to learning things. But when the repeated part was just said in the last segment, it feels like a waste of time. Some time later. Over here in my text editor, I just have this little text file and in here I wrote out a bunch of if statements that a lot of people will encounter on a daily basis. So here's the first one, it says, I wake up, if I'm hungry, I eat breakfast. One thing I've noticed about this video is they don't just share how to do things in Python, but they're teaching basic programming concepts that are independent of programming language. So again, this is coming from the perspective that the viewer has absolutely no programming background. This of course brings with it some pros and cons. So if you've coded in any other programming language, the concept of an if statement is already clear to you and shouldn't need to be explained. But I'm completely fine with it. And after all, this video is for beginners. Plus, we still have a lot more to get into. Some time later. Using comparisons is really awesome and there's gonna be tons and tons of situations inside of Python where you're gonna to wanna to compare different values. So these can be extremely useful. Okay, two hours are done. So far we have covered arithmetic, strings, lists, if statements, and functions. And when I say it out loud, it doesn't sound like much, especially since we've been doing this for over two hours. But hey, the explanations have been great so far. Some time later. But the basic concept is we have a for loop and then we have some if loops inside of it and we're calling this awesome function that can translate a word for us. Okay, three hours through the tutorial. The last hour was a lot of for loop and while loops. One thing I've noticed that I really like what this instructor does is when they introduce a concept, almost immediately they have you create a small program or project that uses the concepts they just introduced. Now these are really simple and honestly kind of silly, but hey, they're really good at helping you solidify these concepts because you get to apply them somehow. So that's awesome. Ooh, this next hour is starting with comments. It's taken us over three hours to finally introduce that you can write comments in your code. I'm actually very okay with that. Some time later. Let me give you guys an example. Let's say I had in my program, I was creating a variable, right? So I wanted to create a variable called value and I set it equal to 10 divided by zero. Now, if you know anything about math, you'll know that you can't divide a number by zero. It's not possible. <laughs> you can't divide by zero, he says. Obviously, he hasn't seen my video that explains how you can divide by zero. Because if he had, he would know he's wrong. Wrong. Some time later. Um, so hopefully this makes sense. You know, this was a lot of code. So if you don't fully understand what, what I did, go back, watch the video, you know, try it a couple times on your own and see if you can create your own multiple choice test. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I have completed four hours of this tutorial. I should be done, right? Wrong. Wrong. There's an extra 26 minutes. Whew. It's like a bad sports game that's going into overtime for the fifth time. Gets it in, Middleton for the tie. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness! Chris Middleton ties it! Some time later. So, Python Interpreter, definitely awesome. I would play around with it, you know, have some fun and take advantage of it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release. Wait, that's the end? 
a little blurb about the Python interpreter. Holy cow, that was anticlimactic. But I'm done. I've finished. I've done the whole tutorial. I am done. I am an expert at Python, except for the fact that they never once mentioned the most important and distinguishing factor about Python. They never once even mentioned NumPy. This is not a Python tutorial. Oh no. This is a general programming tutorial that happens to use Python as a language. Everything in this video could have easily been written in some other programming language, which fails to grasp the uniqueness about Python and why people love it so much. In my opinion, NumPy is one of the distinguishing characteristics about Python. Python is awesome for data science because of its versatility. It's great for machine learning, statistics, mathematics, and basically whatever you want. But none of these important distinguishing features about Python itself were mentioned in this video. With that said, this video does a good job for those who have no programming experience. I just thought it would focus more on Python specifically as opposed to programming more generally. Also, they should have mentioned IPython. IPython is very similar to the Python interpreter, but in my opinion, it's way better. In fact, you should check out my videos about what IPython is and how you can use it. At the very least, I hope this review gives you some insight on whether or not this type of video would be useful for you to watch. Here's what I recommend. If you already know another programming language, but want to learn Python, I don't think you should spend time on this video. There are other videos out there that can help you learn the specific syntax and features of Python programming without explaining to you the basic concepts of an if statement. You can get right down to using Python specifically for what you're hoping to do. So again, if you already know another programming language that's not Python, but wanna learn Python, I don't think you should watch this video because then you're just gonna be wasting your time manually sifting through these basic programming explanations. However, on the other hand, if you have no programming experience at all, then this is a really good video for you. Just make sure to follow my 10 tips of how you can learn programming from a YouTube video. And please understand that you will not be an expert at Python after you complete a full course online. I would not wanna hire someone whose training comes from one video online. The real learning comes when you take these tools and practice with them to solve unique problems. This is something I try to stress to my subscribers. Practice makes perfect. So, what do you think about these learn Python in one video videos? Are they worth it? Have you ever used one? Can you really learn a programming language in just one video? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please click subscribe. Here are two other videos that I think you'll enjoy.